Hello, I'm Tom Poplowski, Product Manager here at Tegwar Corporation. And I'm Will Hoffer, I'm the RMA Team Lead here at Tegwar Corporation. And today we're going to show you the difference between a projective capacitive touchscreen and a resistive touchscreen type. So projective capacitive, also known as PCAP, is one of the most commonly used touchscreens out there. All your cell phones and tablets utilize this technology. And what it does, it uses a layer of electrodes in between the glass and touchscreen and senses conductivity like your body. So this medical computer here utilizes PCAP touchscreen and I can swipe with ease or use a conductive stylus. We'll pick it up with ease. We'll show you what happens when you put on a thicker glove that's non-conductive. Go ahead, Will. All right, I'll give you a fair chance. You can take off that glove. But that also the nice point is, this is multi-point touch. So, boom, I win. Sorry, Will. <laughs> now on to resistive touchscreens. So resistive type touchscreens are a pane of glass with a thin layer of plastic over the front separated by a small gap, which requires the user to apply a little bit of pressure to activate the touchscreen. It's not nearly as sensitive as the, the PCAP, but you can also use different objects to activate the touchscreen as well, which is pretty good for a manufacturing type of environment where thick gloves are usually used. If you touch a little too light, it doesn't really activate very well. Here's our point of a pen. Now let's see if multi-point touch works. Ah, oh, no. I win this time. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, only one point of contact works on the resistive type of touchscreen, uh, as opposed to the PCAP. This is also the more cost-effective uh, type of touchscreen for this application. So now that you've seen the two types of touchscreens in action, now you can pick one for your application. Many medical and industrial uh, computers are available with your choice of either type of touchscreen. For more information, visit our website or give us a call.